Hi all. I'm going to showcase uh, how to add multiple fields to slicer or we can also call it as hierarchy slicer. So let's go and create a report here. So I have, uh, I'm going to create a basic report here. Let's say uh, use something like a parent and child relationship. So let's say I have a category and I do have subcategory related information. so to use uh, to use hierarchical slicer right so you have to go for uh, this particular settings go back to file options and settings so you can see you have an option you have uh, options go back to options and in this particular options you can see global options right so you can have preview futures and you have to select hierarchy slicer so this is what the option if you want to play with multiple fields in a slicer so click ok got it right so go back to options and settings options in global we have preview futures and select hierarchy slicer so click ok and this is what the report we have created and let me go for some formatting here let me increase the size of these labels use grid size grid is nothing but a report okay so that's the reason i have used grid size here so now uh, this looks better i have category subcategory by sales information and let me create a slicer here so you have a slicer option just select the slicer basically uh, as you know right so you can make use of a list or a drop down anything is fine for now i'm going to use uh, let me drag first let me drag and drop multiple fields here. So now let's let's use category into field uh, Now I'm able to go for a category as a filter or as a slicer and as I said you can make use of list or drop down uh, Most of the times the flexibility is like you can go for drop down to minimize the space constraint. So uh, We don't want to waste much much space for the filters or the slicers right but for now I'm going to showcase uh, as a list. So now uh, I'm going to use one more field here. Let me drag and drop subcategory into field so that uh, you are going to get a down arrow where it's something like a drop down where it showcase a hierarchical slicer like hierarchical filter. So if you want to uh, like uh, go for the size, just select that specific particular uh, slicer and uh, go back to general and uh, let's Let's see if we have uh, the item size. Okay, so in general, we don't have uh, the size of that specific item. So let's click on item and let's see the font size here. Yes, we have text size. Just increase the size of the text. So now, if you want to apply the filter or slicer, now click on this drop down where you can see the furniture related information that was this is category and this is subcategory related information. So this is where you can go for hierarchical filter where uh, uh, if you want to go for uh, like a parent and child related information, something like uh, we know like we can create individual slicers, but yes, you can also go for multiple fields. Better you can choose parent and child uh, relationship or uh, that particular fields as a slicer so that if you are going to select, let's say books or chairs or whatever it is like, uh, whatever the information you are going to select so select all and uh, if you can unselect some part of data you can unselect that specific information so this is where it helps a lot so we can all we do called as hierarchical slicer where you can select specific information but the importance of this particular slicer is like it's a kind of a drop down where you can look into the parent and child relationship and you can apply the filter in power bi Hope uh, this video helps. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, please do subscribe for my YouTube channel.